After a few years have passed, Be Quiet is finally back with a new water cooling series, the Pure Loop. Pure Loop. Hi guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to my channel. Yes, this is an AIO system, but let's talk about the elephant in the room. What is this? I've never seen something like this on a water cooler. This is one of the biggest change in design that I've seen lately when it comes to all-in-one water coolers. And what it is, is a decoupled pump, which with this model is not on the water block itself, but rather on the tubes. What this does is it helps damp the vibration as it's put on a flexible piece of material, tubes, while also shrinking down the size of the water block part together with avoiding any potential patent infringing in relation to the AZ deck. That's all there is to it, but what I'm most interested in is of course the pump noise, as this is a completely different scenario, so let's see right away how does it sound. Since Be Quiet requirements states that the pump should be connected to 12 volts directly over their dual 3 pin fan header splitter for it and the lighting on the block, the pump turns full speed. Of course you could try controlling it using different voltages over the motherboard's header, but since they explicitly pointed this out, it's probably better not to. Fans in question are their very efficient and also silent Pure Wings 2 PWM models, these being the 140mm ones, as it's a Pure Loop 280mm model, for which you will also get a two way 4 pin header splitter to one 4 pin fan header. So yes, the system as a whole seems to be extremely quiet, which is not to say a surprise coming from Be Quiet. But um, Yeah, bad joke. As you've heard, the pump is quiet, but it does emit a deeper vibrating type of sound, which could be picked up when only it is working, but it's masked away with the fans being turned on. But with having in mind that these are not quite radiator optimized fans, what else will help in creating the performance needed to cool off the CPU? As I mentioned earlier, this is the 280 model, so in that regard we have a 280mm long radiator with thickness of 27mm and 22mm tall top reservoir compartment and 14mm on the bottom, on which you will also find a fill port that enables you to change the liquid from time to time to prevent any performance loss, gunk or accumulation of other unwanted habitants. In this case it's also here because Be Quiet wants you to top it off every two years with the liquid that actually comes in the bundle. The design of the radiator is very boxy looking with sharp lines, it's not rounded in the corners, so have that in mind if you're aiming to put it in a tighter than usual space. Moving back to the CPU block, the cold plate is nickel plated copper one, making it more suitable for liquid metal paste. Although it doesn't have a pump inside, it's actually not the thinnest I've seen out there, even with ones that have a pump inside it, but nevertheless I like how it looks, very minimalistic and sleek, especially with this plastic cover which has a brushed aluminum look to it and Be Quiet's logo, surrounded by a white LED ring, which can be turned off just by not plugging in its header. So yes, as you can see Be Quiet put some lighting onto it, but they did manage to fight off the RGB, as their fans did too. 
Although, do these products even exist in time and space if they don't have RGBs on them? Hmm. Installation was fairly simple, especially in my case where I had an AM4 platform, so you need a total of 4 screws and 4 spacers for the mounting plate. After that you just hook up the block onto it with 2 screws and that's it. Installing the radiator was also as usual, nothing to write home about, few screws and you're done. Oh yeah, if you are maybe wondering what is this box propping up the radiator, it's actually a new mouse from Logitech from their Ergo series. I did a review on it, feel free to check it out later on, I will put a link in the right top corner of this video. You're probably asking yourself what about the radiator position in relation to the pump. Technically speaking the highest reservoir point is still above the pump, so you're good to go either way. This design actually pretty cleverly avoids any potential problems in relation to that. Ok, enough chattering, let's check out the performance. My fairly warm Ryzen 7 3700X was easily cooled off by the Pure Loop 280, which is not a surprise since I've seen other coolers done the same, but what I haven't seen is that this one did it more quietly as we all heard at the beginning of this video. It was skipping it well below 70 degrees Celsius with an ease with PBO off and voltage set at 1.1 volts and 4.1 GHz, while overclocked at 4.2 GHz and 1.31 volts, it managed to stay stable and just in hands reach of 80 degrees Celsius. I've also had a scenario where I limited the fan speed to 40% at 4.25 GHz and only 20% at 4.1 GHz, where in both cases the temperature went up just by a couple of degrees and I would personally use it like this with around 30 to 40% of fan speed. All in all impressive performance output considering how quiet it actually is, I think this is one of the better ones I've tried when it comes to noise to performance ratio out of the box. What's even more impressive is the very competitive pricing that be quite reserved for this series. The 120mm one goes for 70 euros, although I do not think that this model is a good value next to others, as this particular 280mm model goes for 90 euros, the 240mm one for 80 euros and 360mm one for only 100 euros. So many millimeters and euros. It's not the lowest out there, but it's definitely one that's more interesting considering what it gives back in return. Would be cool to see a comparison of it with the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 series. That's it for this time for me. Thank you once again for watching. Please take a second to toss me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my content. That really helps a lot. And if you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe. And if you already are, be sure to press that notification bell down below so you don't miss out on a new video. And until then, catch you later guys.